Hi everybody, it's Honest John. Uh, for quite some time now there has been a lot of conflict between conservatives, mostly Republican, and what they call the lamestream media, which is the mainstream news organizations. And the Republican base loves it. But if you really look at it, on one end, there is Fox, which is basically a political arm of the Republican Party, and MSNBC on the other end, representing liberal thinking. Credit where it's due, MSNBC tries a lot harder to be accurate than Fox does. Fox goes beyond slanting a story and often just straight out lies. The rest of the, uh, of the media plays it fairly straight, even bending over backwards to be fair to conservatives. For example, in discussions of climate change, they always include some guy who's been bought and paid for by the oil companies and treat him with the same respect as they do legitimate scientists. And as the uproar over Anthony Weiner demonstrates, they pursue scandals among liberal politicians with the same zeal as conservatives. As a matter of fact, the media didn't pursue the scandals of John Anson and David Vitter with anywhere near as much zeal as they did Wiener. And those scandals were worse because they involved illegal behavior. In Anson's case, it was bribery. In Vitter's case, solic solicitation of prostitution. And they never focused on the more salacious details of, of Vitter's scandal, the fact that he liked to wear diapers and take a dump in them, which earned him the nickname Vitter the Shitter in brothels all across the country. So where's the liberal bias? Wiener was forced to quit Congress. Anson and Vitter were not. Now this week it's been Newt Gingrich playing to the base, bashing the media over the interview with his second wife. Now there was some real news there. The fact that he had asked her for an open marriage and the statement, Callista doesn't care what I do. It raises the question, is Newt really a reformed sinner or did he continue his adulterous ways knowing that Callista would not raise a fuss? Also, in that confrontation, Newt lied. He lied. He said that he had made family and friends available to ABC and they had ignored them. Newt made his two daughters available and nobody else. He was asked if he wanted to be interviewed and he turned it down. ABC interviewed his daughters and used those interviews in the segment that was dedicated to Gingrich's wife's interview. So once again, this reform sinner has been caught lying. If he truly is repentant and redeemed, he would be a little bit more careful about telling the truth, especially in regards to his former sins. So you evangelicals out there, you got some explaining to do. But back to the media. If you look at the facts, the so-called liberal bias in the media really doesn't exist. It is used by conservatives because they are really bad at dealing with facts. This is because conservatism is about believing stuff that's not true, in spite of the facts. And sometimes, in order to justify their positions, they have to make up facts. And they call it liberal bias when the media proves that those facts aren't true. See, if conservatives had their way, all the media would tell their lies. Liberal bias is simply telling the truth.
and catching them out when they're lying. Thanks for listening.